Hi, this is Daisy McVeigh with the Smart Solutions team at Keller Williams Realty. And today I'm fortunate enough to be here with Roger Evans with Fairway Mortgage. Thank you so much. Um, my buyers have questions about FHA loans and they're hearing things about the FHA 203K loan. Can you tell me what the difference is between those? Sure. An FHA loan is a loan you're going to use for your standard house. It's in average condition. Uh, it does not have any repairs that are necessary to complete the sale. Okay. Uh, a 203K loan is going to be one that you're going to use for a home that has uh, repairs that are necessary, roof issues, siding, broken windows, plumbing's missing. Uh, the 203K loan is a product you're going to use to not only purchase the home, but also finance the improvements to the property. Okay, so if we have a buyer who's scraping their little pennies together to get in the house and they may not have the money for the repairs, what you're saying is this loan program allows them to borrow the money for the repairs, correct? Exactly. Okay. And who does that work? Uh, independent contractors that, uh, if they need to be licensed, are licensed, but are also carrying the proper insurances uh, that a contractor would need. Okay. So let's say it's a $100,000 house and it's determined that the house needs $25,000 in repairs. Mm -hmm. How does the buyer qualify? Do they qualify on the 100000 or do they need to qualify for the whole amount of the one twenty-five? We're going to qualify them for the total amount of the purchase plus the repairs okay. minus the down payment. Okay. All right. Great. And let me ask you this. They buy the 100000 plus they've got this 25000 for the repairs. Yes. Are the payments initially based on the whole 125000 or are they just based on the 100000 and the payment adjusted at a later date? The payment is going to be based from the onset for the total amount. Okay. So the total purchase plus the total repair cost is going to be one loan, one payment from the beginning. And so it really behooves them to get this contractor lined up, have them ready to roll, and get those repairs done. Exactly. And how are how's the con uh, contractor compensated? Is he compensated by the homeowner and then reimbursed, or do you guys actually pay the contractor? We are going to hold the contractor's funds in an escrow account, mm -hmm. at closing we're going to disperse 50% of the estimate. Okay. So that's going to allow the contractor to purchase the materials, right. uh, complete the work in its entirety. Mm -hmm. Once the work is completed, the buyer is going to uh, basically sign off on it. They're going to call us to release the second 50% uh, to compensate the contractor and finalize the 203k loan. So really this is a great product for buyers that are looking at some of the bank owns or foreclosure properties that are missing fixtures, holes in the roof, basements had water in it. Maybe it's a sound basement, but gosh, now we have some water we, damage we need to mitigate, mm -hmm. things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Any, any house where the seller will not do the repairs prior to closing. Okay, great. So and to... just to refresh everyone's memory, on an FHA loan, what is the required down payment? Down payment is 3.5%. So really, not a whole lot of money to get into a house, and you don't even have to have the money for the repairs up front. Exactly. And that 3.5% can be a gift from family. So Excellent. You know, so it's a win-win. Yes. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, Roger. I appreciate your time. Thank you.